Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Josh FJ55 Iron Pig. Thanks for clicking on the video. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about this strap right here. I'm not going to talk about my SLM or signal level meter used for my job, but it had a, one of those really cheap um, flat nylon straps on it that really cut into my neck. So I was always like tucking my t shirt in between it and my neck or my sweatshirt, depending on the weather. And I got really tired of doing that. So I decided to make my own strap. Here it is. But before I get to this strap that I'm actually using right now, this is the first one I did. It's probably about four feet long. Maybe, yeah, about four feet long, give or take. And it was the very first time I ever did a cobra stitch. I've never done a cobra stitch before. Done a lot of paracord stuff, knots and whatnot, but never done a cobra stitch until recently. About two weeks ago for this one. And had little buckles on the end, but I cut it off because it was, well, way too short. So, over the course of a weekend, a little bit here, a little bit there, I decided to do my own. They would actually fit. Take these off of here. I'll show it to you. So here it is. These are the buckles I used. Or buckles. Um, what are these called? I don't even remember what these are called. Those doohickeys. Same type of thing you have on a dog leash. Kind of a gunmetal color, really cool. But here's what I did. So this one is obviously much longer, it's about seven, eight feet long. This way it hangs down around my hip when I have the meter over it, over my shoulder. And I wear it kind of bandolier style, which is, well, kind of way you'd wear a uh, mono pack or mono strap on a pack. And then, this is Cobra Stitch, by the way, nothing special with it. I got blue. I don't know if that's coming up very well. I got blue paracord there, 550, with black 550 on the outside. It's not gutted or anything, which means taking out all those nylon strands. But I did the whole length, found the center, like so, so here would be the center. And I figured out roughly how long I wanted the pad, just guessing. This is all guesswork. And I did one more pass of Cobra Stitch over that, then I did one more pass of Cobra Stitch coming the opposite direction. So I get this nice taper here and her. Then I kind of melted it on the end there. I'll come up with something better for that. But actually it has a little bit of give to it, which is very nice. Not much, just very tiny bit. It's more comfortable because it has rounded edges instead of those squared off nylon strap edges. And this pad actually works really well. It distributes the weight across my shoulder and my neck quite nicely. And I don't get that nasty nylon burning going on. And I swing it around, move it, readjust it. Uh oh, look at that, I got a piece coming off. Gotta redo that. But yeah, I'm really impressed with myself on doing this. Like, basically only the second time I ever did a Cobra Stitch turned out quite well. I don't know, what do you think? You think it looks any good? It's very flexible, works great, and it's not coming apart, except for that little plastic piece that I figured would probably come apart anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a good day. Oh yeah, if you're not at hockey fan, I suggest you become a Colorado Avalanche fan. And if you are a hockey fan, you should be a Colorado Avalanche fan anyways. Thanks for watching.